Okay, so first off, little box. Okay, so this is the uh, the dock. So that's what it looks like. Yeah, this is the uh, just the charger. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, I could have a substitute for that right away. This is what the steam deck looks like. It's uh, honestly, it's a bit bigger than a switch. Hang on. Okay, so this is the size of the switch, and this is the size of the steam deck. Well, I have to do this one-handed. That's kind of neat. I've never seen that before on uh, like devices like this. Also, case. Oh, this comes with a handle. This type of material and whatnot is very good for protecting uh, electronic devices. Who knows to Steam? They know what they're doing. Moment of truth. Wow. God damn. Oh, wow. You can already tell just from distance alone that, yeah, it is. Uh, just to put it up close for size comparison. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god A little bit bigger than the switch, but I mean like oh man, it's on top of that oh. Triggers on the handles Top piece here Oh wow, they really went all out for this, didn't they? They added extra buttons too. So most games I imagine, if you're playing games that have extra like inputs, you could probably enter those in for uh, commands and inputs. These I'm going to be guessing are the touchpads. This is gonna be the menu button. Maybe this is for chat. This little select button right there. And I think that's like a window tab button. Maybe. Just this cord, it looks very somewhat fragile. I wonder how this is gonna work if I have to end up repairing it, or not repairing it, end up having to replace it. Steam Deck was not exactly the most cheapest. There is an ethernet port. Oh, look at that. Okay, so that's most likely from the indication that's for the charger. Uh, this right here, the one to the immediate left is gonna be the HDMI port, and these three I'm going to guess are USB ports. Not exactly sure about the interior of it. It's using more metal teeth. If they get end up getting mashed, it fucks up the entire thing. They give you a second charger. They really got, got this stuff down. So hey, if this one fucks up, I got this one. That's awesome. Okay, kudos Steam. Imagine even being in a tax bracket. Well, Ninja, the reason for that is quite simple. You need to pay taxes before you can be in a bracket about taxes. So I did have to update it and change around some settings. Overall, I haven't actually like Wait. tested it on video games. Wait, you mean this isn't an unboxing stream? I already recorded myself unboxing it. I apologize oh, okay. Discord. I won't talk shit about someone's tax bracket ever again. Fucking Discord crash! <laughs> Heard you talking shit about someone's tax bracket. <laughs> it's like talking shit about Amazon while live streaming on Twitch and then them fucking throttling your bandwidth. <laughs> like so far, it seems good. Yeah, yeah actually. It's pretty good. I've seen this game when you're in co op and that, can they like bump into each other and pick each other up then? There's the thing you can do where you can like just fucking yeet your friend up to the high heaven. And if the wall's too high, it's just you can like grab them and then pull them up. And so it's basically like a more obstacle coursey version of music for Mario Bros. Wii. Basically, except with more Wolf Stamper as the narrator. Oh, I think not. You can't fool me. Hattie would never betray us. B betray us. Never. Something fishy's going on here. I love that it is confirmed that pretty much aside from the bullet points of the story, all of this was improv. I mean, it's glowing red and stuff. Glowing oh red my stuff god, really? Bad. Yeah, absolutely. Does that make Battle Block Theater the video game adaptation uh -huh. of Ghost of the Yes. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> There's a legit video behind the scenes of him recording, like, the opening dialogue for the game. And... Okay, I'm gonna put my game face on and be like... What's going on? That's good. Well, why did you stand there, you dopey dum-dum? Now it's too late to help! That's good, too. You scroll up and the, it goes, like, down, and then you scroll down and then it goes up. It doesn't make any sense. Oh wow, you can actually play multiple games at once? That's interesting. Oh, oh, oh right, what guys, the f- hold, 
Let me swap over to Final oh. Fantasy XIV. That's, that's uh, <laughs> this don't look right. This don't look right. Let's just start. This don't look right. Yeah. These animals really hate shit. So I've actually never watched Infinity War. <laughs> Ninja, I've heard enough. Deadly Force authorized. This game has a lot more going on compared to Bloodwalk Theater, considering that I think it's uh more recent compared to that one oh, on my end it actually that... looks pretty good i'm really impressed by just the steam deck and just like i am really loving this and i cannot wait to play more games on this whoa holy shit i like how you can tell at a distance even when the screen is not like in full view when they're gonna attack and just like what's going on there we go you're throwing Throw me! Throw me, damn it! Oh. Got it! Worth it! <laughs> hey! Better. Okay. <laughs> Three grown ass adults and one teenage can't read an online multiplayer. What's your definition of grown, by the way? Yes. <laughs> You're getting a beat down for that as soon as we spawn. <laughs> Jokes on you! I'm gonna record it. <laughs> wow, it started. Oh, I can't, shut see, up. With her, I, with her, I can't tell if she's being genuine or being sarcastic. And quite frankly, I think he's being sarcastic. Oh my god! <laughs> hey, Why can't it be both? Yeah, of course she was uh, fucking. Yes. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? Worth I'm it. gonna kill you with my blood. Worth it. I'm gonna kill you with my blood.